Bonjour. It's the Stave Stadu Polseni Dubin 2017 ski. How are you, Evo? I'm doing well, Greg. How about uh, you? I'm doing bueno. That means good. It, it doesn't check? No, in Spanish. Shit. Well, I'm confused now. See, I've been trying to uh, practice my check as a, uh, you know, homage or say thank you to our number one country viewing, which is Czech. So I guess I have to learn Czech now. All right. Let me uh, pronounce it the correct way. Stav statu prohlášení duben 2017. I said that. Provolone duben. So, Dubin. Dubin. No, Dubin, Evo. How are you? <laughs> Dubin. All right, that's great. <laughs> so, yes, once again, State of the State statement for April 2017 for all those people who don't want to learn that dirty language. I am drinking Citizen Cider. I already finished mine. Evo's an alcoholic because he's Czech. Um, anyway, so just like last month, um, we're going to be doing the, the review of how the month's been, what the next month's going to be like. And a little different from last time, since Evo has ADD and can't pay attention to talking when he's watching me play a game, right now in the background is one game of me playing Dota. It really depends on how long we talk for, is what video I put up. So it's either going to be me winning, or me embarrassingly losing, causing my whole team to be mad at me. I don't know, it really depends on how long this goes. So, um... It depends on how long we talk for, you know, if a video goes a little bit long, you know, I might just cut the video at the end or I'll just let it play blank if you're really fascinated with Dota. Um, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, this past month, Evo. Um, what you do this month? Did you play any games? What you do? I played two games. I played Zelda. Again. Again. Still playing that. Way to be boring. Yeah. And I played a little bit of Andromeda. Mass the, Effect. The Mass Effect. Oh, yes. that's really exciting. So, so anything new you got to add to Zelda from last month? Not really, Did no. you beat it? No, I didn't beat it. How uh, many hours do you think you're into it? Well, well, well. Look at the cat drug. I'm going to say 20 drugs, at max. Not, drugs? you know, not a lot. but You know, mathematically, I think you're 20% of the way there. Oh, there you go. I mean, maybe I'm not. I'm bad at math. It could be, you know, 10%. Depends on how slow you are. Correct. Well, excuse me. That's the cider sand coming up. So, Mass Effect, what do you think? Uh, so far, I like it. I mean, you know, a lot of the, the animation, the talking, mm -hmm. uh, it's still weird, but... I mean, how long ago did you play it last month? Uh, I actually played it recently. Yeah, because they actually recently, uh, in the past month or two, they actually put a patch out. That right, was right. Post to make that a difference in that. Did you, did you notice at all? Um, well, here's the thing. I didn't play play it when it came out, so I don't have a reference. Well, if you're saying now the facial expression still weird even after the it's patch. It's a little weird. Yeah, I actually, you know what? Um, I did watch a YouTube video um, of the game being played, you know, like, before the, and after comparing shit. Yeah, yeah. and it's a little better. Um, but it's still weird. It's still a little weird. It's yeah. that Uncanny Valley thing of like something's not right here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but game looks pretty. Um, I mean, I'm just in the beginning, so I don't how many know. hours it take? <laughs> like, I'm asking you hours, damn it! You better answer me. Maybe an hour. Wow. <laughs> some hot takes within 60 minutes of a video, Evo. That's that's some really insightful and helpful tips for the people who've never played the game and want to know. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if you want to play the game, maybe wait a little bit longer till If it goes more, on sale at all or if they've got more That stuff. or, yeah, just wait till they get some of the kinks out of it. Yeah, I mean, they've been talking about uh, trying to fix all the issues with the game, you know, the weird animations, buggy uh, AI partners, you know, they'll do really strange stuff on screen. You know, other stuff that can, uh, bad frame rate, or, you know, you just glitch out of the world and just fall forever, you know, I mean, granted these are stuff that you think would be fixed before the game went out, but when you rush a development like this and try to get out of the door before the end of the first quarter, or the fiscal year, you know, some corners need to be cut. Right. And they did a pretty good job cutting corners. Oh, yeah. Well, moving on. Uh, this month, 
Um, I did not play any Tyranny again. Uh, I was pretty busy uh, just working, but I got back into Dota 2, Evo. Okay. Um, how's that going? Do you know anything about the game? Just a little bit. I, I haven't played it. I watched you play it. Um, that's about it. It's probably the worst game imaginable, but, you know, I have over fucking, what, 2,300 hours, 2,500 hours in the game right now. That's a lot of hours. It's a horrible game to keep playing, but I just can't stop playing it. It's, you know, really masochistic. Um, I never play with groups. Everybody I play with is always angry. A lot of yelling. Can't stop playing it. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. People just yell on there. It's, if, you, if you if you don't pull your weight, you'll you'll see. It, it, uh, we'll talk about you know that later in the show. But um, I hadn't played in months, so I thought about you know practicing a little bit beforehand. I was playing another game called Heroes of the Storm, which is a Blizzard game, which is kind of like Dota but a little easier. It's a good like baby step if you want to learn how to play. You know, uh, MOBAs they're called. You know, massively online battle arenas. Okay. It's just in the sense of these types of games, it's either like four or five people on a side. You're just fighting each other, and trying to win. I mean, it's kind of how every video game breaks down to in team fights. But played a little bit of that. Uh, just get my bearings back, and I went back in Dota. And Jesus Christ, you know, it's it's one of those things. If you just stop doing it for a while, you go back into it. You don't know what you're doing. You get fucked. Everybody hates you. And you wonder, why do I keep playing this? And then as soon as the game's over, you go right back to killing again. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of like... It's an, abusive, it's an abusive relationship, and I can't I can't get out of it. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I mean, if you want to call it that, there, there's better things I could spend my time doing, but God damn it, you know, the best thing to do with that game is never start playing it, Evo. Yeah, that's I mean, kind of where I'm at. Well, you, you're just going to have the luxury of... Uh, I, I live through you. Well, you're going to be living through me, you know, um, with that game and many other things. But more of that in the uh, later in the show. Um, anything else that wasn't game related you want to talk about? What you're doing? With uh, do, do, do. I actually today I got promoted in judo. Oh my god! And in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I mean, what are you like? Black belts now? Do you no, have twenty black belts? Uh, I still have. Them. Long way to go. So you're, I'm a green belt, green belt in judo and a blue belt in jujitsu. So I have no idea what the color scheme is. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, blue belt is the fifth belt, right after magenta, before uh, polka dot. You are incorrect. Uh, I thought it was close. Um, then the other one, your karate one. You got what that, judo? Well, I don't know. I'm just guessing because. People say these these karate things, and the only thing it translates to in my mind is karate things. Okay. So you can say I did jeet kune do, and I say oh, you did karate. Okay, I understand. Yeah, you also got chickens. I did. Yeah, eight chickens. Oh yeah. If if any astute viewers, you know, probably everybody in check right now, you probably saw those things at the end of one of the videos we had. Those are chickens. I mean, maybe in check. I don't know what you people do there. I don't know if you have electricity. You have to have electricity because you watch these videos. Maybe you all have chickens. I mean, don't think I'm denigrating you. I'm just trying to understand your culture. Maybe you have a lot of chickens. I mean, that's why he got chickens. No, we want eggs. Free eggs. Check eggs. Stop fiddling. I can't. It's 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 it's, it's just <laughs> in my hands. I have to fiddle with things. Um, did you name any of them? Uh, there was one, uh, Layla. And how? That that's the one chicken I told you about who was a little wobbly in the beginning. Why don't you call him Shakes? I don't know. That's a better name than Layla. Why Layla? It, she has a stripe on her back. And I don't is, know. Is Layla check for stripe? No. Is like Layla check for Eric Clapton in that song he did? No. Did that chicken ever get you on your knees? No. Well, actually. Did she beg you, darling, please? <laughs> I can't think of any other words for that song right now. All right, let's move on. <laughs> but you have... Why would you name one chicken? And you've got, like, how many other chickens? There's eight chickens. Why don't you name the seven other ones? We will. No. You name them all at once. You, you're doing favoritism with the chickens. It's not fair. Well, you got, you got to wait till they grow a little bit. Make sure they... Why did you all of a sudden think, okay, it's time to name this one? Because that one was a little wobbly and we didn't know if it would make it so if i go to the well the only reason you're going to name it so if it dies it can't go to chicken heaven 
I don't get your logic. It's weird. The, to yeah, there's no logic. Yeah. Well, you had chickens, and I'm still painting a house. I mean, I'm just being a friend, basically. You know, free rent, I guess. You know, painting other people's houses and moving upstairs to downstairs, but that's really boring stuff. Not as exciting as chickens, though. No, it's not. Right. Fascinating. Great way to fill time, Evo, <laughs> yeah. as I drink. He's just, he's just I did that on purpose, actually. He, yeah, right. Just so you we get that dead silence. You accidentally sandbag, like you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, actually, I did. All right, moving on from month reviews for, uh, for either of us. We're going to go look at the channel now. So, uh, channel review for this past month. We uh, finished. Did we finish up Uncharted last month or this month? I think we did it... More sound effects. Last month. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been just, you know, ass deep in the... Uh, God, I can't uh, Bioshock. Bioshock. Yeah, I can't think right now. Infinite. 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 I have no idea how far we're into the game or how much longer we gotta go, but what do you think of the game so far? So far, so good. I enjoy it. Really insightful. Anything yeah. else? <laughs> no, uh... I like the game. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Fun. I shoot the bangs and uh, things There's go. a lot of racism in it. I yeah, can't. I mean, that's really weird. I mean, I kind of knew there was some stuff at the beginning because I've seen that uh, beginning part where they th you have the choice of throwing the baseball at the, the couple there. Yep. I didn't think it was going to be so prevalent through the rest of it. Yeah. It's a little uncomfortable, but, you know, I kind of appreciate that they're going for it. Yeah. It's... I mean, I'm doing a lot of the typical shoot, bang, kill the things, you know, with my hemorrhoid hand. That's always fun. So you fire hand. Uh, yeah, that, that's a stilly, hot, debated topic. Let us know in the comments, what hand would you rather have? Ghost hand? What was it? Claw hand? Crow hand? Crow hand. Fire hand. Hemorrhoid hand. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, uh, we were going to try some other uh, games. Actually, we were going to, we thought about releasing something uh, last week, but um, something we probably should have mentioned the month before, uh, I actually have a new PC now. Um, it's all upgraded, uh, really fancy parts. Now I can basically stream, uh, I can render videos at my place, because everything was done at Evo's place beforehand. Um, but now you can do it. Now I can do everything here. Thankfully, we have this because Evo got a little jealous, I think, of me having a PC and was like, I'm gonna get some new stuff too. And what happened? It's just got a bad motherboard. Yeah, you know, a really important thing, so... So now I sent it, you know, RMA to... It. It's being sent back. What's RMA stand for? Really motherboard agendas? I don't know. <laughs> so, for the foreseeable future, we're uh, going to be recording on location at my place now. That's why the sound may be a little different from what you're used to, but... You know, I'm making do. I'm basically in a giant empty room with a bed in it. You know, I'm not a hobo, but I live like one. Um, yeah, we we're going to try a different game, and uh, we we're going to have, you know, Evil play at his place with a really crappy uh, laptop, but turns out he can't actually load web pages all that fast, which it's is a, just slow. Yeah, and, you know, for what we were doing, that really isn't all that helpful. So we're going to have that probably uh, next month because you should be getting the, uh, the computer back, what, next week or in two weeks? The part should probably come end of next week. Yeah, so it'll probably be like a week or two before that comes out, but stay tuned. Uh, actually, that's a great segue as to what we're planning on doing next month. And... Uh, I know we mentioned last month that we were probably going to start doing some streaming stuff, but um, Evo's computer, you know, exploding and uh, some housework not completely done here. It's still going to be a few more weeks before I actually get the uh, streaming done here, but we're going to, you know, have a couple of test streams. We've already had like one or two where I was uh, testing out how uh, Dota ran, if the internet was fine, if there was any lag, if my computer had any issues. Turns out everything worked fine. Um, as it should. Yeah, I mean, as we've said a million times, the first video we made was the first time we had any experience doing any of this stuff. So we are learning as we go. Streaming is going to be another one of those things where... Uh, and we're going to stream on Twitch. Under... Yeah. It'll probably be under Hobby Fist. No, it is under yeah. Hobby Fist. Um, as far as the scheduling goes, uh, we'll let you know. It, it, we might do like a joint thing, like maybe once a week. We don't know yet. You know, one, a couple of days a week, I might stream, and then the other days, he will probably will stream. We're still ironing that stuff out. Um, to get you know any more information, you can either follow the Facebook 
group or uh, follow us on Twitter. I'll try to keep all that stuff updated. Since Evo hates technology and phones, I'm doing all that work too. I don't hate phones. You do hate phones. I love technology. Well, you could. Yeah, we'll save that for another time. Okay. Uh, we do have a tease as far as uh, like that video we tried to do last month is a uh, you know a little collaborative thing between me and Evo. Um, but we'll get to that in the email section. Um, but as far as the next month goes, we're gonna keep hammering through Bioshock. You know, I don't know how much more time we got left, but. Feels like we're at least halfway through it by now with that fucking awful old man mm -hmm. sequence. God, that was painful. Um, but hopefully we'll be done in you know a couple more sessions and then we can move on to something else. Um, we have a pretty good idea what the next video is going to be, but well, we're not going to tease it or anything. You're just going to have to wait and see. Right, middle you know, towers under attack. Well, we don't like blue balling people. You'll just see it when you see it. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much all what sums up for us uh now we're gonna go into the news evo we'll start with da, your story da, da, da. yeah that's you, you gotta have a better you know change of double, sequence double music than going da 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 give me a check song i don't know any check song yes you do check I... song new ski <laughs> go <laughs> all right so, what's your news article, Evo? Uh, let's see. Uh, it was on actually Zelda, the DLC oh, oh. that is being released in the early summer, I think June. Um, it doesn't add anything to the storyline. Yeah. Uh, it adds. I mean, they couldn't really add anything to the storyline. It's kind of a finite thing of they give you the the the, the quest you do for the entire. Okay, so it's the oh, DLC, God, the. Like um, it's 19.99 for the um, the DLC, the add -up, the whole thing itself. Yeah, the I, I just can't think of it right now. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's 20 bucks for whatever you're downloading. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it includes two DLC packs. Okay. So the first one's coming out in June or early summer. Okay. Well, June uh, is early summer, so I think yeah, you're covered. Yeah. Um. It's gonna have items in it. I think it's gonna have some trial to where your like really good gear or some master sword or something. I don't know. Ooh. Doesn't break. Yeah, because durability is a bullshit thing right. in that game. I yeah, think. it's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, items and like uh, clothing and stuff like that. Not nothing. To, I think the second pack that's going to come out, that's going to have, they're going to add stuff to the story. Well, I don't know how they can actually add stuff to the story unless it's like side stuff because you think the whole premise of that game is kill Ganon. They right. give you that quest in the beginning of the game, they can't really add anything else. It's like, Ganon didn't die when you killed him, do more they, Ganon they, Maybe they add a, a new villain or I don't know. They can't add a new villain because that entire game revolves around its Ganon, entire... Ganon, yeah, it's Zelda just, and Link. Yeah. yeah. There is no other bad guy except for Ganon, as far as I know. Well, I guess that's that's what I heard. Not my soul, the evil. Okay. Anyway, all right. So uh, those were the two parts. Now my quick story thing. Um, so if you haven't been living under a rock, you know that Call of Duty is going back to uh, drawing board and back to the well with their upcoming game for this year called Call of Duty WWII. Now for those people who don't know Romanese, that's World War II. And this is Sledgehammer's attempt at the game. Um, me personally, being someone who doesn't really revolve play Call of Duty since fuck the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one on PC, that was a long time. That ago. was a long time ago. I haven't played any of those in a very long time. However, I want to discuss them. You know, reverting now, back to. World can War I II. can I ask you a question? No. Well, I'm gonna ask you anyway. God damn it. Um, so Sledgehammer did this game? Yes. They're doing this game. They're actually. doing this? Okay. Um, what other games? What other games has Sledgehammer done? Yeah. Um, they're part of that three company, uh, three developer team that, you know, every three years they come out with a Call of Duty game. So, okay. Um, it's Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and fuck, what's the other one? It's not Activision. No, well, Activision is the publisher. They're not okay. the developer. Okay. Uh, Treyarch, maybe? Um, but Sledgehammer, you know, 
uh, they seem to be one of the more favored ones between all the three companies, and uh, people seem to have good uh, hope. They have good plans, good feelings about this company making this game. It should actually, you know, be decent. Whereas uh, the issue I have is, you know, the past three games, I think it was, uh, they've been, you know, progressively, well, actually all the games have progressively been going, you know, into the future. Like, you started out with World War II way back when Call of Duty first came out, you know, it started with Storm Normandy. Um, then you progressed through the years, you had uh, Black Ops, you know, that was random stuff, random smatterings of Vietnam, modern things. You had the Modern Warfare stuff, which was, you know, war during modern times, and then it progressed in the future. And then they kind of, you know, drew themselves into a corner with the last one with, you know, infinite warfare, you know, future infinite fighting and all that other shit, but you kind of painted yourself into a corner. Like I said, you don't know really where to go after that. I mean, you can't go more future, because then you're just, just being, you know, random robots fighting each other, and you can't really get attached to that. Whereas, you know, the last one, there was like a robot or two characters, but... You kind of just don't feel attached to it if you're like, I'm not playing as a human. I'm just a robot shooting another robot with a robot laser in a robot fight that no one cares about. So I can I understand why they would want to go back to the past and, I guess, soft reboot? I don't know if that's fair to say because it's going to go through that checklist of all World War II games in the past. You're going to storm Normandy. You're going to take the beach. You're going to, you know, probably fight in the forest somewhere. Oh, There's going to be like a tank battle somewhere. You might be sniping in a tower. You know, there's this checklist that they always have to go through. See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that word checking everywhere I can go. Oh. Um, and, like, also to think about the way Battlefield 1 worked. Um, that was really cool because they were going to, you know, go to World War One. No one ever really talked about World War One. That was never really a game that anybody played. But the issue I had with that was... Um, all the guns that you had in that game, it was literally just a reskin of all the other games you played before. Because if you think about what the standard, you know, infantrymen had back in World War One, they didn't have the machine guns. Yeah. They had bolt-out action rifles, you know. There was tanks, they, they didn't work more than they worked. But in this game, you know, right off the bat, you could use a uh, machine gun. Tanks never really stalled. You know, they were ran fast, they worked. Um, I kind of get why they would do yeah, that. Yeah, it has to be action-packed. You, you, you can't just hop in a tank and then have it break down. <laughs> I mean, I would kind of like if a company did that. You know, there was uh, America's Army. You know, that was a uh, multiplayer game that the Army actually developed itself. Um, they actually had things in the game. Say you're shooting a rifle, your rifle jammed. They actually had buttons. You had to sit there and fucking go through the process of getting your gun unjammed to shoot. I like that type of realism. I can understand how it's super frustrating you're in the middle of a fight and all of a sudden my gun doesn't work. Guess what? That can happen in real life, but I guess that's not why you go to these games. But I would really like it if, you know, they didn't bother rehashing uh, World War II again. I don't see anybody do Korean War. Yeah, you know what? I was actually just thinking that. Why didn't they do... If you gotta go back, why don't you do one that hasn't been done? Yeah, I mean, Korean War is one that's never been touched. There's even... You could even do another uh, Black Ops type thing, or Call of Duty Ghost, where you just do snippets of different wars. You can go throughout the years. You can start, you know, in the... Uh, colony, there can be, you know, South, South Africa, there was some fighting there. You can do a quick snippet on that. You can even do Korean War. You can do, like... Um, the Japanese invasion of China during World War II. You know, you can you can do Grenada just because it's funny. Um, there's a so many other things that they could uh, go into and and you know maybe pay homage to that they you know people said they did with World War One because that game everyone the, that World War was like you don't talk about that one. That's a serious one because you know, so many people died. It was a slow like. Technology developed within the war. You had people starting the war on horseback, charging into it. By the end of it, you had tanks and fucking nerve gas and planes, planes and machine guns. Um, and they didn't really—I don't feel they really paid too much respect. Is probably the wrong word because you're literally playing a, a fucking video game, shooting people in a make make a homage, pretend war. Um, they could—I don't know. I just have issues with. Going back to a while again, I understand they can because, you know, Stammering Normandy, you're going to see that guy get shot in the face on that uh, amphibious boat that goes up as soon as the gate goes down. It'll look real cool this time. 
It'll look real cool when you're swimming through the water, see the bullets was by your head. I mean, the best example I've seen of the Normandy invasion still and probably will always be Saving Private Ryan. That was pretty good. Every video game is going to try to capture that, you know. You can only ape that style so long before... I mean, saying it's, you know, cliche is, you know, kind of demeaning to what actually happened there, but... I don't know. I just, ex I just hope, you know, they, they can take some lessons learned from here and maybe try some new places out. Alright. So, what's this whole thing you're covering? The YouTubers? Uh, so, this is gonna be, this is this is kind of a long headache article. It, it's a really long, drawn out thing, but I guess I'll do a quick... Just paraphrase it. I'll paraphrase the best I can with... Paraphrase. How do you say it in Czech? Parafrisky? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, so, paraphriskying the uh, issue that a lot of YouTube uh, channels seem to have that focus nothing on Call of Duty, nothing but Call of Duty, is that the way the new ad revenue thing works out is, since I guess Call of Duty is a war game, it technically falls under the idea of covering war, and the idea of um, doing that is now no longer viewed as a good thing under YouTube's uh, ad revenue thing. So all those people who you know focus on that stuff um, see, is seeing an actual drop in the revenue that they would normally get compared to what they did say a year ago and now. Um, it's just a lot of growing pains and reaction, knee-jerk stuff from the way that uh, Wall Street Journal article was posted probably a month or two ago, and YouTube feels like they need to react, and they're just you know knee-jerking as best they can and. The way all this stuff works out, everyone always has an issue, everyone pays attention to it for two weeks, and then it just slowly creeps back to the way it was Yeah, before. it just goes away. Yeah, it sucks for the time being, but, you know, as what I hear everyone uh, talk about is never put all of your eggs in one basket. Well, we don't really have to worry about. Yeah, I don't have any eggs, and we don't have a basket, let alone a pot to piss in. But that's enough for news, that's enough of me babbling about literally nothing let's get on to the emails <laughs> so as everyone knows the way the email I've been, I've been pestering everybody with the email thing for uh, this video and the way it works is send us an email you have a chance of winning a game because if we pick the email that we like all you have to do is respond back because we're not gonna tell you if you want or not if we want the views god damn it so you watch the video that was awful uh, uh, heartburn? No, it was just really verp. It was kind of gross. But we want you to, you know, watch the video. We'd like you to you know, participate with us, comment, you know, talk to us, tell us we're doing a good job because we need attention. We're, you know, yeah. horribly broken people. We yeah. need the attention. So like, dislike, comment, comment. Tell Evo he's a terrible person and he was super lethargic in the last video because I think he was. He doesn't believe me. But, you know, that's what you get for your ice cream before you watch a game. Anyway, going back to the emails, um, we have a few emails. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to, you know, save the one that we think won for last. So, going through our huge list of emails we got for this month, let's start with the first one. And looking at this one, it's from Andy. And Andy says... Hi, Hobby. I'm so glad you decided to try out Gmail. Here are a few tips to get you up <laughs> and running fast. So, I don't know if this is a phishing email, but Andy, looking quickly through the rest of this, none of this is a question. You're just thanking us for using oh Gmail. Boy, Any thoughts? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Next email is from no reply at accounts.google. <laughs> and this one says, Hi, Hobby. Your Google account was just used to sign in from Chrome on Windows. And it's telling me that Thursday a few weeks ago, someone signed in to this email address. Uh, Evo, do you not recognize this activity? Um... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we sending this? Another it's a good follow-up question. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. How do I say it? Yeah, is not you. Ah, I'm learning, folks. Yeah, is not you. Yes. Yeah, so you know that was you know a good attempt. There was is that at least Ruski? there was at least questions this time in this one. You know, a couple of question marks I see. 
It's, uh, you know, compared to the last one, it's at least better than the first one, but this is still At least they're asking the questions, right? Yeah, so we're now going to move on to the winner okay. of this. And remember, we're not going to talk back to you. You actually have to, you know, respond back to up. up uh, Respond back to us. You know, speak as good English is here. I mean, my, my brain is getting confused with all the check words swimming around in it. Um, and this one comes from the winner for this month, and we'll have a ch- choice between uh, Grand Theft Auto V for the PS4 or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds for Steam because it's not out on anything else yet. Um, all you have to do is, you know, email us back and tell us what's one you want, and we'll get it to you. So the email uh, winner for this month is from Damien, and he says, uh, Where did you guys get inspiration to start your own channel, and why? And there's a follow-up question here, but we'll get to that afterwards. So let's start with uh, Evo. What do what what we get our inspiration from uh, to uh, start our own channel here? We just wanted an excuse to play video why, games. Why are you talking for both of us? You should just talk for yourself, and then you talk for me. Don't put words in my mouth. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good... Excuse to play games. I mean, yeah, it's a good way to learn and stuff, too, honestly. Because we've said many times before, you know, the first video we put up is the first thing we, you know, ever did as far as recording videos, editing videos, uploading stuff. Um, And it's really fun learning this stuff, you know. Looking back to when we started, I had no idea how to, we could edit this stuff so fast. And all, I'm sure if we go back and look, like that cringe video, oh my god. I thought that was such a good idea to do that stupid boom, boom, boom sound. Oh, yeah, please don't remind me. No, it's going to be one of those things that's just going to exist forever and we just got to live with it. But, yeah, we're, you know, stumbling as we go. The shit's fun. The inspiration as far as to start this channel. Um, for, like, the past couple of years, I've uh, watched nothing but YouTube. I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in years. I just find all my entertainment through podcasts and YouTube. Yeah, that That is true. I mean... I don't watch TV. I really just watch people's YouTube channels. Yeah, it's. I mean, every now and then I might watch a thing on HBO, Game of Thrones. Yeah, stuff, but it, honestly, of course. Yeah, I'll, like Netflix or you know. I get back stuff. from work. I want to relax. I'll you know have my dinner and watch stuff on YouTube. It's it's. There, there's a bunch of people that I watch on YouTube. There's Northern Lion, Little Biscuit, uh, Hat Films. They're fun with their banter. If you haven't really checked those guys out, you should. Um, do you have any recommendations for people? Uh, I like. The Rad Brad. He's cool because his name's Rad and it rhymes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you like like PC hardware stuff, there's uh, Jay's Two Cents. Yeah. Um, yeah. But honestly, if there's any, you know, I don't have to tell you guys this here. I know it's on YouTube. There's any you know hobby you think you have, just Google for it. Or you, uh, you'll find it. You know, there's someone doing videos on it. And it's just a fun thing to do. Learning shit is always fascinating. You know, this has seemed really overwhelming before I started, and now it's like, oh, it's not that hard. All right. And then the follow-up question was, will you ever play horror games, Greg? And the answer is yes, he will, because I will beat him in a game. And he will be forced to play a horror game. This is a really... If you haven't been paying attention to a couple of videos this past couple of months, he has been real aggressive with his threats as far as me having to play, you know, any sort of fucking awful game. Because if you guys don't know, I can't deal with horror games just because I get super jumpy from it. It's just the thing that I do. And every it's time, hilarious. Every time I do it, I mean, I'm sure if we actually ever doing one of these videos, you're just going to hear Evo giggle and clap in oh. the background. I'm going to die laughing. Schadenfreude is his middle name. But um, the way we're going to go about that is, you know, he can't just earn, like, he can't just have it. He has to earn this thing. And uh, what we're going to probably hope to do as soon as Evo gets his uh, computer back is a uh, challenge thing where um, we play, you know, versus game. Best of three, best of five, you know, fighting games, other games where we're going to be challenging each other, you know. And best of three, best of five, like I said, and whoever wins, you know, whoever loses has to do whatever the winner says. And as far as we know, Evo is dying, especially Damien here, to uh, have me play a horribly scary game. Um, and as far as uh, what we're going to make uh, Evo do, I haven't figured it out yet because, I don't know, he, the only way he can get scared from stuff is if it was uh, VR stuff. So, um, 
We don't have a VR headset. Yet. No, not yet. And that'd be eventually. I don't know how happen. that would record, but we still need to. You know, if I win, he's got to do something. We're still trying to figure this stuff out. But um, just look forward to that in the future. Um, again, if there's any announcements that we have, you know, we have the Twitter for the channel itself. You can follow me at underscore BNB. What are you at? Google, yeah, you never really use. Yeah, I don't, I don't really use Twitter. Fat, neither have I, but I'm just hobby fist on Twitter. Yeah. Um, once again, thank you for watching. Um, comment to us. Let us know what you think. Are we doing a good job? Bad job? Is there any stuff you'd like to see? Um, suggestions. We're suggestions. Comments. Definitely. Yeah. You know, we're gonna stream stuff. We're gonna probably do one-off stuff. We're gonna be just experimenting with shit because we're still learning. This shit's fun. Um, send all your emails. Maybe you can be like Damien this month if he ever emails us back. Um, if he does, pay attention to next month. In probably another week or two, I'll make another announcement. It'll be a different game this time, since depending on which one he gets, we'll uh, replace that game with a different one. So, once again, everyone, thank you for watching. And um, anything you want to say to the people? Goodbye. Uh, Yeg Samash or Bonjour. Ciao. You can say ciao. Hey, look at that. I was just guessing. Uh, thank you all again, and we'll see you next time. Dire top barracks are really taking a whipping. Oh man, this guy's dominating! He's super godlike, or beyond godlike, I meant. Good oh boy, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top barracks are uh, obliterated. Dyer's top barracks have been completely cut down. Oh boy, Radiant's got a bunch of mega creeps. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower just took a big beating. It's gone. Oh, D Dyer's ancient's under attack. Oh! Boy, Dyer's ancients under the under attack. You know, you, you know what that means. Tr spells trouble. Oh no, Ra oh, Dyer's ancients under attack. Dyer's courier. He bit the big one. There's a job. Oh, okay. Holy shit! No, 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 Oh, boy, Holy shit! Oh, boy, Dyer's ancient! 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 Oh, boy,